Dear colleagues, I am Dnipro National University of Railway Transport PhD student, and my scientific supervisor is Viktor Shinkarenko. Today, I want to represent you our research dedicated to authorship determination of natural language text by several classes of indicators with customizable weights. First of all, I want to represent you a few problems in this area. The first one is the absence of the technique that can determine the text authorship with sufficient reliability that can be widely used in many areas such as education, jurisprudence, etc. The second one is the linguistic features in each of the existing languages that do not allow creating a universal method or tool. And the last one is the complexity of choosing text parameters that will determine the author's style. And the main purposes of our research is to improve the existing result of attribution of natural Ukrainian language texts and to select the text attributes that have the greatest information content. More about the method that we use in our research. We use three methods to create the text image. The text image is a vector that contains the indicator measurements of the following classes frequency analysis of text, the text perception complexity, and modified recurrence analysis. And we have two methods that we use to determine authorship of the text. The first one is minimum distance classification, and the second one is a genetic algorithm for determining the text indicator's weights. Now let's talk a little bit more about each of these methods. The first one, frequency analysis of text, is one of the most common text analysis methods. However, during the analysis of the sufficiently large text, it was found that the accuracy frequency of each specific letter in the alphabet will be very close to the frequency of its accuracy in any text of various authors and to the frequency of its use in the language. So we can say that it will be not so much a characteristic of author style or text as the language that author use. To solve this problem and obtain more reliable information that could characterize the text, it was decided to use larger structures than the letters of the alphabet and grams. In previous studies, we get the best result in the authorship determination of the text using four grams. We get uh, so in this work, to compare the effectiveness of the methods, one and four grams frequency analysis were performed. Now on your screen, as an example, you can see text character frequency chart, which represents the text of Toras Shevchenko Saul. This work contains of 2,148 analyzed symbols. The data are arranged in alphabetical order and allow you to visually evaluate the occurrence frequency of each letter typical for a given text. Next class is the text percep perception complexity indicators. These indicators consider the text complexity, but don't reject its content and word order. Based on this, all these indicators don't have sufficient efficiency for analyzing the author's style on their own, but can be used to in conjunction with other indicators. Now on your screen, in table one, you can see the word frequency with different lengths in work of Taras Shevchenko Saul. And in the table two, you can see other text perception complexity indicators according to the same text. And now we will talk about modified recurrence analysis. The recurrence analysis is used to study time series and process. We modified this analysis for its application in the processing of natural language texts. It is based on the quantity analysis of RQA recurrence plot that was used by Spilut and Weber. The text is transforming into a time series to apply the recurrence analysis 
for tax processing. The value of each point in the series is the occurrence frequency of the n-gram or a character. The resulting time series as a characteristic exclusively for this tax and allows further research based on this data. Uh, now on your screen, you can see time series of the text Saul by Taras Shevchenko. And using this time series, we can create the recurrence plot. This plot displays repeating states at different moments in time and respectively places in the text. The number of indicators are calculated using a recurrence chart represent different types of repetition of each statistically closed sequences or ch of characters and n grams separately or in some sequences. Now on your screen, you see all these indicators of recurrence analysis in table three, according to the text Saul by Taras Shevchenko. Minimum distance classification. To determine the authorship of the text, method based on the minimum distance to the standard was used. The image of the text includes 66 indicators. All of them you have seen in represented before figures and tables. The information content of each in the pattern recognition problem is different. In this regard, in order to increase the recognition efficiency, it was decided to use the weight of indicators in this case, the fitness function has next form. Uh, the task is to find such weight of the indicator W so that the recognition accuracy has the maximum value. A genetic algorithm was used to solve this problem. Genetic algorithm is used to solve the optimizing problem of some multi-parametrical functions value. All represented tasks are formed as a functions that depend on a number of parameters, the global maximum or minimum of which will correspond to the solution of the problem. In this work, the genetic algorithm has the following characteristics. And about training and control samples. In the training sample that we use in our research, we have 20 works by 11 different Ukrainian authors. And the control sample has three works written by the same authors in it. We took only prose works up to 10,000 characters or their parts of this size. The name of the author that we use in our sample, you can see on your screen. So about chromosome formation for symbol by symbol analysis. In the text image in experiments with one grams, position from one from first to 30 second are occupied by the values of the letter frequency. Arranged in alphabetical order, all this data you uh, have seen in at the figure one. Places from 34 to 37 are taken by data on the complexity of the text. Uh, these in indicators were represented in table two. From 38 to 59 place, the frequency of words with different lengths in the text are represented. You also have seen them in the table number one. And places from uh, 60 to 66 indi uh, take indicators of recurrence analysis. These indicators were represented in table number three. The formed chromosome contains 67 elements. Each element weights in the vector image of the text and the recurrence threshold weight And if we will talk about the experiment with four grams, the structure of the chromosome will be the same, but the uh, most, the 100 most common combinations or four grams were selected for analysis. 
And in this case, the number of genes in the chromosome was increased to 135. And the first 100 places in the chromosome are taken by weights of the most common four grams. 100 most common four grams. And all other places were held by the same indicators and in the same order as it was in the previous chromosome for the experiment with one gram. And about result. The most important indicators that we get according to the, our research. The most important according to the obtained weights uh, will be the frequencies of letters F, Sh, Y, Y, and Ch. The text complexity indicators, namely the numbers of words in the text with the letters five, one, and four letters, has have this, the biggest weights. And also in complexity indicators, we can talk about numbers of syllables in words and letters in sentences because they have the most important in, they are the most important indicators in this class and the last one class of indicators it's uh, indicators that we get in recurrence analysis we can say that divergence time trapping and entropy are the most informative according to the our result and the authorship determination result According to our previous study, the reliability result was 18% of the text correct attribution for analysis character by character and 82% for analysis using four grams. Using the methods described in this work, the result for the character by character analysis improved significantly up to 80%. The result of the analysis using four grams also improved, but to a less extent, up to 91%. For the recent researches, results of text author determination are in the interval from 74% to 83% for English language texts and within the range 79% and 92% for Ukrainian language texts. So it can be concluded that this method can be used in various fields of determining the authorship of Ukrainian language texts. And about our future researches. The first problem that we want to uh, solve or improve is that we want to expand the number of analyzed indicators and conduct research using the stems of words. And the second is that we want to highlight a small list of various indicators, which combination will give the best results in determining the authorship of a natural language text. Thank you for your attention.